this is Mo of Mo West Creations. Today I'm going to show you how to cut up a boat neck t-shirt. So you've got a boat neck shirt and you want to do some cuts to it but you're not really sure what would look good. So here's one thing that I think looks great with a boat neck. I'm going to make some cuts in the sleeves. So the first thing you want to do is lay your sleeves out smooth and flat. Top lines, smooth and flat. And then fold it over top of itself so that both of them are smooth and flat. Have all your hems aligned. And there you go. Next thing we're going to do is measure some straight lines from the hem. We're going to do one inch up from the hem. And I'm going to take it in pretty far. Four inches. Just draw a line. And then go two inches up from the hem. And I'm going to make that more like three and a half inches long. Then go an inch up from that. Make it three inches. And then an inch up from that three and a half inches. Inch up from that, two inches. So, then you can cut. Make sure you're still smooth and lined up. Just make some straight, clean cuts where you made your lines. Four inches, three and a half inches, three inches, two inches, and so on. Once you have that, I'm going to cut out this top area here right above this first one. So I'm going to turn it inside out, take a look at where that seam is, and then just cut from the bottom of that top cut up here. Make sure you leave this spot intact because that's what's holding your shirt together. You can also sew a button onto that spot. That'd, that'd be really cute. Or put a little ribbon there. Get creative with it. Do that on both sides. Next thing you want to do, as with all DIY t-shirt cutting, is just give these strips a pull. So once you've made your DIY cut t-shirts, you want to wash them on gentle and air dry them because the, although they won't fray because Jersey is wonderful, they will begin to disintegrate if you wash them too rough. So there you have it, a cute way to cut your boat neck t-shirts. Ciao!